Welcome to Criminality. Let's take a dive into the dark side of social media and how online life turns deadly. Social media has become an integral element of modern life, bringing individuals from all over the world together. It has made it possible for both people and corporations to engage with one another in previously unthinkable ways. As with every instrument, social media may be abused even if it undoubtedly offers advantages. Online exchanges have become lethal in recent years, exposing the dark aspects of social media. Is this the information you are really interested in? Then don't forget to subscribe for notifications in any newly uploaded video and be till the end of the video so that you don't miss any important information. It's difficult to recall a time before social media usage, for both individuals and businesses, was not so pervasive. Our knowledge of the conventions and etiquette surrounding the usage of social media remains behind technology advancements, maybe as a result of this rapid adoption. So let's explore social media's dark side in more detail. Have you ever questioned why social media platforms are all free? Because we are their product, they cannot make money without social media users. Because staying longer on those platforms equals more money. They know how to make it so addicting by studying human psychology and figuring out how consumers can stay on for the longest duration. The more advertisements you see, the more money they make. Social media in general is designed to be addictive in addition to being biologically addictive. You can get hooked and stay on longer thanks to the like button reactions, scrolling notifications, tagging comment sections, articles, and posting, to name just a few of the many features they create. We don't always see the same things. The interesting thing is that when we use all of those platforms, all of our actions are being tracked. And what you see is based on the information that has been recorded about our prior behavior. So they may use your want to see certain things to their advantage and get you to stay longer. Naturally, the more content you find interesting and the more videos or articles you see, the longer you will be able to stay. Could lead to addiction. For them, this translates into extra income. But there's more. In addition to making you an addict, using social media excessively changes the way your brain works and reduces your attention span. Lack critical thinking. For many people, critical thinking appears to be a thing of the past. It is simpler to dismiss, minimize, and make another person awful or wrong rather than trying to understand them because differences are too intimidating to work through. This issue is more serious than it first appears to be. Recent circumstances have shown us how misinformed beliefs and ignorance may result in violence and the disintegration of society due to the spread of misinformation and political manipulation. Addiction Social media not only causes addiction, but it also changes the way your brain works and shortens your attention span. The same kind of chemical reaction is triggered by good interactions like someone loving your photo, pleasant comments, notifications, and so on, according to neuroscientists. Your brain releases the feel-good hormone dopamine when you scroll, get likes or comments, or even just while you're merely scrolling. A key component of the brain's reward system is the hormone and neurotransmitter dopamine. As a result, the brain changes, making you seek human contact and attention. It also causes your brain to choose the quick fix provided by your phone to the difficult effort, rendering you unmotivated, addicted, and distracted. Cyberbullying Bullying was a practice that could only be carried out in person before the advent of social media. Online bullying is now reality whether perpetrated anonymously or not. Everyone today is aware of what cyberbullying is, and most of us have witnessed the damage it can cause to a person. So 
Social media makes it simpler to make friends and meet new people, but it also gives the nasty quick and easy way to pick on others. These cyber attacks frequently cause severe emotional damage. In some circumstances, even inspire people to harm themselves or commit suicide. As it turns out, cyberbullying affects people of all ages. Adults might also experience internet abuse. You could wind yourself becoming a jerk on social media and other websites without even realizing it since screens obscure our faces at times. Feelings of worth Since receiving recognition feels so good, lacking it can lead to loneliness and melancholy. According to the American Psychological Association, depression and suicide have considerably grown since social media during the past 10 years due to mental health conditions. How social media affects our mental health can be caused in a number of ways and can affect people to varying degrees, as more and more people are experiencing a decline in their mental health. To alleviate some pain, tension, worry, or despair, we need to communicate and connect with others. Despite the fact that social media was designed to keep us linked to one another, for many people, the reverse has happened. Unhealthy sleeping habits. Spending too much time on social media can impair sleep quality in addition to raising the prevalence of worry and despair. The rising usage of social media has been linked to poorer sleep quality according to numerous research. Try to limit how much time you spend on social media if you feel that your sleep patterns have become unreliable and are causing a decline in productivity. Don't let social media algorithms steal your precious sleep, which is meant to hold your interest for as long as possible. A risky, unhealthy combo is getting less sleep and having lower quality sleep. Social media fakes, also possible are phony relationships, fake personalities, or motives in the world of social media. You may decide what you want other people to see. The need to be liked by other people drives you to create your identity here, even if it isn't true. Even if we don't know or like someone, we still want to make an impression on them in order to win their approval and favor. Social media has both positive and negative features, just like everything else. We have talked about some of the drawbacks that social media might have for certain people, but you have to decide if it will be more beneficial or detrimental to you personally. Stop using social media if you discover that it is ruining your life. If you do decide to stay, there are strategies for spending less time on social media and keeping a better connection with it. All I discussed in this video were the drawbacks of social media but there is also a beneficial side to it, which you may already be aware of. Social media can have bad effects on people's lives, but you must realize that even though it is highly addicting, you have control over how you use it, how often you use it, and whether you continue to use it. Despite some advantages, it can never fully replace face-to-face -face interaction. Face-to-face -face encounter is what caused the production of hormones that allow stress, improve our mood, and make us more optimistic. Relying solely on a virtual connection through social media might make you feel distant from the real world and real people, lonely, unhappy, or even disconnected. So, Always try to spend your time with your loved ones so that you don't miss time on useless things. Thanks for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.